What's up folks? So as promised, this is my first ever intermediate jiu-jitsu competition. For those of you who are new to the channel, I wrestled for three years in high school and I've been doing jiu-jitsu for eight months at the time of this tournament. Um, I'm still a white belt and I've competed in a few tournaments as my opponent immediately pulls guard, uh, but I decided to challenge myself and compete against all blue belts in, a, in the Naga rule set that's totally new to me. So in case you don't know, under Naga rules at the intermediate level, all leg attacks are legal whereas most organizations don't allow certain leg locks until the brown or black belt level. But all that said, I'm still confident and you know, I feel ready to compete at this level. I'm circling around him, trying to pass his guard in a little bit of a half Nelson grip, which will end up being key in this video. And I slowly move into side control and I get two points for the pass. So right here, I have a half Nelson grip on his head, so it's not like a traditional jujitsu cross face where I would be reaching under the near side of his head. Um, I go over the far side, and in this position, um, there's not much he can do except what he did right there, which is just hip me off. But the reason this is key is because every time I switch my arm to the other side of his head, which I'm about to do here, he throws up a buggy choke. Like right there, my arm comes over, boom. Yep, just like that. And I'm putting pressure on his neck and pushing him down and just trying to create space in between us. But since he throws up that bucky choke, you know, he gets out of side control. So it's a good way to create space, even if you don't get the submission. Um, so we're back to where we started. I slip on a little pool of sweat there. Uh, it's pretty clear this guy's not interested in wrestling with me, um, which, if you've seen my other videos, is kind of new to me, honestly. I don't think I've gone against anyone who decided to just pull guard immediately um so it's kind of cool you know like the pace of this match was totally different than you know what i'm used to competing in novice and beginner grappling competitions so again i have this half nelson guillotine grip on his neck there's probably an opportunity to go north south there but he starts to hip up i just retain control of his head and look for his far hip and just drive him back onto his back so one thing that I'm thinking about in this match is I, I feel like I was stalling a little bit. Again, I reach on the other side of his head, he goes for a buggy choke. But the reason that I was switching my grips around his head was it felt like I needed to create more action. And that just might be because my head is moving a million miles an hour during these matches. And I wasn't thinking of going for, you know, like a submission in north-south like I should have been. So uh, pretty much all points in Naga are worth two points. So a guard pass, a mount, whatever, that's all two points. Um, and submission attempts are one point. So the rules are set up to incentivize submissions, which which is kind of cool because, you know, that's kind of the whole point of this martial art. I'm in a neon belly and I go into mount and I get two points. So I'm up 6-1, two minutes left in the match. I'm here in mount, which is a good position for me, but I'm a little bit high, and he throws in his right leg and gets into a leg attack. Again, I get a guard pass for that one. And in this match, I'm not thinking about, you know, how I'm controlling his head. You know, I, I'm not noticing that when I reach from the other side, that's when the buggy comes. This That's totally just from watching this match back. Um, but I go for a chair sit there, but he's slippery and quick, and he kind of beats me to that angle. So nothing comes of that. We stand back up, and he pulls guard right away. You're supposed to make contact with your opponent before you sit down. Um, that time, I'm not sure about, but earlier in the match he did do that. Um, and here he scooches his butt underneath me, grabs my leg, and this is, you know, clearly where this guy wants to be. So. I'm doing my best to keep my weight on my feet, to not let him put my weight in my hands and extend me, but he gets my leg fully extended there and gets me with the knee bar. I was up seven points with less than 30 seconds left, and the dude gets me with the knee bar. I am not advanced enough to break down what's happening here. Um, I reviewed knee bars and a lot of other leg stuff right after this competition. This is not, ah, it's hard for me to watch a little bit. My leg definitely got a little bit hyperextended. Um, he was a good sport about it. My knee's fine for anyone who's worried. But yeah, that is my first ever 
intermediate match. Um, I lost in the first round, so I did not have any more fights throughout the day. Kudos to this guy. He obviously has a really strong leg lock game, and he went on to take third place, I believe, in this tournament, so congrats to him. This was obviously not the result that I was looking for, but I can honestly say that I learned a lot from this loss. I'm not going to act like this didn't bother me at all. It's definitely frustrating to lose a match, especially in this fashion, but as cliche as it may sound, losing is an important part of getting better at literally anything. So regardless of result, I'm always going to post my jujitsu competition on this channel so click all the buttons if you haven't already so you can see the next one that's coming up next weekend shout out to surge for taking home one of the coveted naga belts it is definitely a goal of mine to win one of those one day uh, thank you for watching click all the buttons and we will see you next time